How to Drain and Wash Your Biodiesel Biodiesel is an organic, non-toxic, and biodegradable fuel made from everyday renewable resources like vegetable oils or animal fats. It can power your car's engine and help the environment at the same time. It doesn't contain any petroleum, so forget about escalating gas prices. Biodiesel cuts down on CO2 emissions. In fact, it's the only alternative fuel to have fully completed the health effects testing requirements of the Clean Air Act. Biodiesel can be purchased at a growing number of fueling stations around the world, but you can also make it in your own backyard. Even if you don't like chemistry, you can brew your own. There are a few important factors to keep in mind when making your own fuel. During all stages of making biodiesel, always work in a well-ventilated area and away from pets and children. Draining out the glycerin from your processor and mist washing your biodiesel ensures you a clean burning and efficient batch of biodiesel homebrew. You can wash your biodiesel in just a few easy steps. You will need a biodiesel processor, a batch of biodiesel, large plastic containers, an empty jar with a screw-on lid, a garden hose, and an empty bucket. Step 1. Drain the glycerin. Take your large plastic container and place it under the reaction tank of your biodiesel processor. You may need a few of these containers depending on the size of the batch of biodiesel. Unhook the hose from the processor and place it in the plastic container and open the valve on the bottom of the reaction tank. The dark glycerin will run out of the tank and into the container. This is the byproduct of your reaction and you want to drain it out until you see the color change from black to amber. At that point, all of the glycerin has been drained and you're ready to transfer the fuel to the wash tank. Step 2. Clean the pump. Once all the glycerin is drained from the reaction tank and you have collected it in your containers, purge all the remaining glycerin from the pump by placing a bucket underneath the spout on the bottom of the pump and open up the valve. Start the transfer by turning on the pump. The oil will make its way up from the processor to the wash tank. Wait several minutes as the wash tank fills up. Step 3. Shake test. Replace the bucket underneath the pump with an empty testing jar and open the valve on the pump. Fill the jar with half water and half biodiesel. Screw on the lid and give it three solid shakes. Set the jar on a flat surface and wait five minutes. While the shake test is not an absolute indicator of your fuel quality, you'll know if it will be an easy wash. When the solution settles, you will see an intermediate layer called emulsion between the biodiesel and water. The smaller the layer, the easier your wash will be. Step 4. Mist Wash There are a couple of ways to wash your biodiesel. The mist wash is very effective in removing any leftover methanol, potassium hydroxide, glycerin, or soaps from the reaction process. Using fine misting heads, begin adding water into the biodiesel. Looking down into the tank, you can see the misting process. As the mist washing begins, tiny water droplets fall through the biodiesel and bring all the leftover chemicals and catalysts to the bottom of the tank. After several wash cycles, the wash water will be very clear. Step 5. Remove water. Before you begin drying your biodiesel homebrew, all of the standing water must be removed from the drying tank. Depending on your processor style, you may need to transfer the wet biodiesel to another barrel to dry and prevent standing water from remaining in the tank. Use a pump to circulate the biodiesel in the drying tank and spray it against the side of the tank to increase the surface area of the biodiesel. Use a small fan to move air across the surface of the biodiesel. This will cause water to evaporate more quickly. Make sure it is a gentle breeze as high velocity air will blow small droplets of biodiesel around the vicinity of the processor. You can also heat the biodiesel to cause it to dry more quickly. Wait 12 hours and your batch of biodiesel will be ready to transfer and use. Congratulations! You've successfully washed your biodiesel and are ready to transfer it to the storage drum and use it in your diesel powered cars and trucks. By choosing to use an alternative fuel, you've helped to cut down on CO2 emissions, cut dependence on foreign oil, and saved yourself some money. Nice work.